Now this is what you call a real sniper exit, a one to three RR on GU. And I'm gonna break it down very simple. Very simple to break down. We had a change of character. We had a imbalance. We entered off the 50% level of the Fibonacci and we took it up at one to three RR with a 2.5 pip stop loss, a 7.5 pip TP. Um, and I'm gonna give a little bit more in depth. Now, the reason why I don't have a partial system in this scenario here is because of one reason and one reason only. Now that reason is because number one, look at the time. London, uh, New York is gonna open very soon. Number two, there's gonna be some idiots out here that think, you know what, because we've had the change of character and blah, 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 oh, we're going to take, we're gonna enter here and take it all the way up to the Asia high. Well, that's completely incorrect in this scenario here. And you just have to know, as a trader, you will learn this, you'll learn stuff like this. However, I would have a partial system if I entered at the original position for this London short, right? We had a change of character. We have the imbalance to enter off. We put our stop loss at the um, the candle above the imbalance. And I wouldn't take it at the one to three because that's very easy to hit with the small stop loss. I take it at one to five RR. Reason being is because it's only a 6.5 pip um, TP, which is very easy to hit, especially at this time. There's gonna be a lot of volume at the start of London. Now, where would you take your partial system here? Well, you're gonna take it at that one to five and then you're gonna let your partials run down to wherever you're happy, right? You could have hit a one to 10, could let everything just carry on going down. However, when you do a partial system, please understand that you're not just doing, you're not just, you know, moving your TP, you have to move your SL, you have to trail your SL. So don't keep at, the, at your normal SL, put it to break even, then trade it down, trade it down to profit. So that if magically price does go all the way up, that you're all right. Now, one thing I have to completely say about this trade here is I sent it into the, the boys, um, the group chat, and I sent it on my Instagram when we were at this high here, 1.5 pips away from take profit. And then it just started going down. You know, the shaitan was there. The devil was trying to attack me. But guess what? When God's on your side, God pushed it off for me. And Alhamdulillah, we hit TP 1 to 3 RR. You can't do it. I can. What can he say? You know, you, you don't know. But another thing I have to talk about is the trick. Now, Lots of traders get tricked out here. They see, look, we've, we've had a lot of movement on Asia, right? We've also taken out the previous daily high in Asia. So how, and then what they think is, oh, Euro's open and now we've seen to the push to the upside and a change of character to the, to the upside. And this is the reason why I only trade um, at London. I won't trade this, this Euro bit here. And the reason is for this specific thing. People are stupid. All they're gonna see is, oh, well, let's find a fair value gap because we've had that change of character. Oh, look, we have a fair value gap here. Oh, oh my God, yo, this is so sick, fair value gap, and let's enter. And then they see this little bit of profit. Oh, look at that sniper entry, sniper entry, oh my days. And then oh, what happens? Oh, they just get, they get, they get run through, mate. You know what I'm saying? That's why you don't look at that shit. Yeah, do not look at Euro. We're gonna look at London. We're gonna see what happens. Do not focus on Euro. I don't like the Euro bit because that's where the trick comes in. And more time, more times you're going to get tricked than actually use it to make profit, right? So that, that's just one thing I had to talk about. Um, I think that's it. You know, I've had to record this video three times now because didn't record the Zoom, then didn't record on the camera, then didn't record. Like, so it's a whole little thing. But anyway, quick breakdown of this trade. Great British, one minute time frame. Well, I was on the five minute, identified that big move to the upside, which created the change of character. Then I identified this big candle here, drew the Fibonacci tool, entered off the 0 0.5, hit my TP, sniper exit. What can you say? Anyway, if you guys wanna learn trading, I have a free school community. I have all my strategy on there for free. Bear in mind, you have to put provide your email. You have to answer the question, uh, questions quickly. All my team are not gonna accept you. I'm not going to accept you. If I'm looking at it and you've done some dodgy stuff, I'm, I'm going to decline, mate, and never accept you in there ever again. 